Hey Heather from Hope Down Pickin. Another tip that I wanted to share with you is when we go to our store Savers, which is a really large thrift store in our area, we look for used handheld, sometimes you can find them used, uh, new, but used handheld video games. And so um, these Monopoly ones have been huge sellers for us. We usually, when we ship them to the warehouse, they sell almost immediately for about 50 bucks. And if you look here, we paid $3.99 for this one, and I also get a 30% di off discount. You can get a 30% off discount if you donate to Savers too. And so we actually bought two of these because if you look at this one, really closely you probably won't be able to see it on the video but it's very faded here and then we purchased this one but bummer it doesn't have the battery back and you always 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 want to have the back to the battery so what we did was we bought both of them because they were very very cheap big profit margin what we're going to do is put the back from this one onto this one so that this one that is a nicer one and in good working condition will sell um, and our customer will be happy. And so here's another one that we got. It's a memory touch-a-do. It's a SpongeBob, always very popular. SpongeBob's been around for a while. Typical Yahtzee one. These ones are not worth as, as much, but it actually came in the bag with this 20 questions game. And so between the two, we can still make a profit. This one's kind of neat. It looks like the classic vintage football game, but it actually was made in 2000, but still very collectible and you can sell them for about 20 bucks a piece. Now, most of these games I purchased anywhere from two to four dollars. And then if you donate your, you know, unused clothing and any kind of houseware items to the savers, you can get up to 30% off of a coupon. So um, here's another one that we got, which is an operation game. That one was kind of fun. And I was kind of excited to find that just because it's very unique and fun. So just look for anything. A lot of times these do not have barcodes, obviously, because they're, they're not new in package. But I just type in the name on Amazon and look them up and look at the sales rank and figure out how quickly I can sell them. But most of the time, the greatest things about these things is you take a gamble on whether or not they work but the profit margin is usually way out of this world because you just buy them for pennies on the dollar you know you're spending you're spending four dollars and most of the time they sell for about 20. so another thing to keep in mind when you're looking for things at a thrift sport thrift store especially and remember in the end jesus wins hope this helps